A new ride-sharing service is helping some of the most vulnerable people in our community, right here on the streets of Traverse City. The service is called Transport Her, and it was started for a reason. I have had my own experiences with domestic violence and sexual assault, and, you know, around that same time, there have been several events in Michigan, in particular, that occurred with other rideshare companies, and that kind of inspired where we're coming from. The founders say they've received positive feedback on the model. There, in fact, were a lot of women who said, you know, quite honestly, I'm afraid to get into a stranger in an Uber vehicle. I don't even like going with cabs. I do feel more comfortable with somebody of my own sex or my children riding with somebody who are less threatening to my child. So I got some pretty good positive uh, feedback from people who said, you know, they do feel more comfortable with women. But a company is only as good as its employees. I've been in Uber and I've been in Lyft before and a lot of times you're just not very comfortable with that. So the concept is what I really got interested in because it's transport her. I've already been able to take some people on a ride and that most of them have been 89 and 90. So I've got a lot of new friends now that I'm taking around. Transport her is fully operational and always looking for both riders and drivers. Go download the app from Google and iPhones, put it on your phone, go to transporther.com and hook up for a ride. The founders say this is only the first step in making ride sharing safer for everyone. In Traverse City, Remington Hernandez, My News 26.